shoot down. Tell you what, you start running so I can stab you in the back. <sighs> I thought I was a goner just now. Thanks for the help. And if you need any supplies, I have a few to sell. Take a look. Until next time.
The last of the Nightingale Sentinels, I'm afraid. We were betrayed by one of our own kind. I was blinded. Perhaps if I had been more vigilant, then Mercer Frey wouldn't have lured me to my fate and stolen the skeleton key. I haven't heard that name in a long time. How do you know of me? The key! You have the skeleton key! And Mercer Frey? Then, it's over. I owe you a great deal, Nightingale. Were I able to provide it, I'd shower you in wealth for what you've done. My only regret is that you had to undertake this task alone. Carlyle? She's still alive? I feared she'd befallen the same fate, and nothing would bring... From the moment I arrived here, I felt... The Sepulchre isn't merely a temple or a vault to house the key. When Mercer stole the key, that conduit closed. Severe... I'm afraid so. Whatever damage has been caused can only be corrected by following the Pilgrim's path to the Evanier and replacing the key. I wish I could help you. The only possible help I've come across are the remains of some poor fellow who is trying to follow in your footsteps. Perhaps his journal can help? With the Ebon Mirror closed, and their shadows of their former selves, they know my spirit didn't manifest itself in the sepulchre immediately. However, ever since that day, whatever is of as I even right this moment, I feel strange when I don't think I should be feeling anything at all. Yes, my friend. How may I help? Good luck, Nightingale. Nothing. 
nothing.
do we have here? It's been a number of years since I've set foot on your world. Or perhaps it's been moments one tends to lose track. So, once again, the key has been stolen and a champion returns it to the cellar. Now that the Ebonmere has been restored, you stand before me awaiting your accolades. A pat on your head, a kiss on your cheek. What you fail to realize is your actions were expected and represents nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreement. Don't mistake my tone for displeasure. After all, you've obediently performed your duties to the letter. But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and loyalty. It's about the reward, the prize. Fear not. You'll have your trinkets, your desire for power, your hunger for wealth. I bid you to drink deeply from the Ebonmere mortal, for this is where the Agent of Nocturnal is born. The oath has been struck, the die has been cast, and your fate awaits you in the Everglow. Farewell, Mr. Dale. See to me the key stay this time, won't you? you were able to bring the key back safely. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. I wouldn't take that to heart. Think of her as a scolding mother. I assure you, had she been displeased with you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. The circles at the base of the Ebonmere imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale agent. The crescent moon represents the agent of stealth, the half moon for the agent of subterfuge, and the full moon for the Agent of Strife. This is Nocturnal's way of maintaining balance. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities, you can return to the Sepulchre and step onto a different circle. Be warned that once you've chosen, you can't reselect for at least a day. Now, your life as a Nightingale begins. Should the Guild has welcomed me back with open arms, I only hope that this isn't an ending to things, but actually the beginning. Why, perhaps, the greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. There are pockets brimming with coin, and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. We may be nightingales, but in our hearts we're still thieves, and we're damn good at what we do. The Agent of Strife can send forth a tendril of pure darkness into the heart of another. At the same time, this tether will bolster the Agent's own... The agent of subterfuge. By weaving the darkness to their will, this agent can manipulate others into fighting for the Nightingale for a limited. The agent of stealth is the master of remaining unseen. On moonlit nights or in darkened rooms, this agent literally becomes invisible. Yes, fellow Nightingale? of this nightingale, your fears would have come true. She honors us all. What will you do now? Nocturnal calls me to the Everglow. My contract has been fulfilled. Will I ever see you again? When your debt to Nocturnal has been paid, we'll embrace once again. Oh well, Gallus. Eyes open. Walk with the shadows. Goodbye, Carlyle.
Yes, Nightingale. What is it? Show respect while you're here, and you and I will be fine. You have the look of a killer. Ghost is responsible for the cemetery. Thank you. It's a collection of regrets that I try not to forget. Here, I promise you this. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine... Good to see you. Then by my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Falkry. I grant you a personal house call. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble now. Come and see me again sometime. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house carl. Lead on, Thane. My blade is always yours to command. Yes, my Thane? D of course, Thane. How can I be of service? Let's go. I'm still here. <clears throat> I'll keep watch at Lakeview Manor until you return, Thane. Good hunting. Did you see a hound on the road? F I asked the gate guards to look for him. If you were willing to retrieve him for me, I'd give you some fresh meat to attract him out on the road. Oh, it's smart to demand something up front. Some gold now and some when I have my dog. Here's the meat. exactly what I was looking for. Yet yeah, Skyrim is now host to giant flying lizards and two-legged cat men. And you surprised by me? Yeah, I just talked and am continuing to do so. You see, my name is Bobbis. And I have a problem I think you can help sort out. I know, I know. Wars to fight, dragons to confront, guild business to conduct. Sheesh! Listen, when you're ready to do something useful, find me outside Haymar's shame in Falkreath.